What's up guys, Sean here, and this is the Concept Knives Model 6 Review. This knife is offered in several different variants, with this being the most expensive, most premium variant that you can buy, featuring anodized Timascus show side scale, black Cerakoted titanium frame lock, Cerakoted titanium clip, black stone wash m390 blade and this is a super nice knife our main methods of deployment are a flipper tab or a little window in the blade which you can easily spidey flick has a perfect detent Woo! super snappy wow also has that low profile flipper tab Very easy to use and the reason I am wearing gloves is because the oils from your fingers will um, greatly dull the beauty of this anodized Timascus. Within five seconds of me holding this and fumbling it around it will not do this um, Timascus scale any justice so just keep that in mind. Um, this is a very beautiful scale, but it is a fingerprint and oil magnet. So, take a look at this blade right here. We have a sheep's foot blade. Nice, well-spaced out jimping on the back of the spine right here, just at the very beginning. Extremely ergonomic, comfortable handle design. These scales are slightly contoured, kind of like the Spyderco Swish Buoy. Very similar to that, except this knife is on bearings and features a lock bar insert and an over travel stop. So you cannot unspring the lock bar tension. We have black hardware. It is also pretty minimal hardware. Um, you have a pivot screw, then two standoff screws, um, two screws for the clip, pretty standard. I wouldn't say minimal hardware, but it's definitely, uh, there's definitely a lot of knives that feature a lot more screws. So they didn't go too overboard, pretty simple yet elegant construction. Um, and like I said, very comfortable. There are no hot spots on this knife. Uh, let me go back into the action category. So I've told you guys before, I prefer a stronger detent. And this one is not overly strong, but it is, it's right there. Like my perfect strength level, which might be on the uh, little bit too heavy for some people side of things uh, I don't want it to you know make my fingers sore if after I flick it a couple times but my fingers are pretty tough and I like when the blade just really flies out and you need a good detent for that type of action so this flipper tab is works best if you light switch it you're just gonna slide this finger back and the blade will fly out. Now this is one of Denise's knives that I sharpened. I believe I sharpened this one at 19 degrees per side. And this is a Veneve F800 uh, finish on here. So our edge bevel is not really big, but it is nice and even, and it is very sharp. And Denise requested that I do some paper cutting. Um, I do have to admit, it is quite satisfying um, watching and listening to a very sharp blade um, slice through phone book paper like hot butter 
So I'm going to be doing that with this guy and a couple of her other knives that I sharpened. And yeah, I'll save that for, you know, more towards the end. But let's continue on with the review. So lock bar access is really good on this one. You can see they did a nice relief cut. You have a nice comfortable pocket for your thumb to fit in. It's not overly huge, but it is very easy to disengage. Um, the aesthetic of this knife kind of speaks for itself. Uh, very, very beautiful knife. I'm not sure if the camera does it any justice. Uh, I mean, guys, this knife is truly beautiful. The price of this knife that is where things get a little bit crazy. Um, now you can get a Model 6 for as low as 200 and something, like the 220 range. And then I've seen them into the $320 range. And if you go on Concept's website, the retail price for this specific variant is $400. $60. Yes, $460. That is a lot of money for a knife that is OEM'd overseas. Um, but, I mean, can't deny the execution and quality, fit and finish, everything about this is on point. So, kind of hard to argue. Uh, fit and finish is perfect. Five out of five. Acoustics gets a. Acoustics gets a four out of five. Uh, the acoustics are very good, but um, like I've said many times before, not the best sounding knife or the most impressive sounding, but it is far above average. Uh, lock up and lock bar access are both perfect. The factory edge got a four out of five. Um, it was nice and even, just wasn't too sharp. But that's, it could just be me being picky. Um, when you sharpen knives and you get to a certain sharpness level, anything you get is going to be dull. Um, you know, I'm even talking about brand new Spider Co's out of box. That's the closest thing to what I would consider sharp. Um, as far as a knife out of the box goes. Um, beyond that, I mean, uh, I feel like 90% of the production knives out there, I could literally take it and like run it across my hand without drawing blood. Um, which, you know, whatever. Some people don't want their knife scary sharp. Some people don't enjoy accidentally cutting themselves all the time but you know once you once you have a couple knives in that insane sharpness category and you become comfortable handling knives at that level of sharpness uh, you get kind of spoiled to it and you literally will not carry a knife that is not extremely sharp um so yeah it's just kind of the way it is the blade gets a perfect 5 out of 5. This has a nice even blade grind. Comes down nice and decently thin behind the edge. Um, it is, you know, it has some meat at the spine, but nothing too insane. Um, I'm glad that they brought the uh, flat grind up uh, above the halfway point before... They did this flat grind. Um, you know, the the longer the distance the blade has 
to taper down, the, the better cutting performance you will get from it. Um, another reason the blade gets five out of five is because it is M390 blade steel and it seems like the heat treat was done very well on this. So no complaints there, sharpened up, excellent. The handle gets a perfect five out of five. It is extremely comfortable, very, I mean, perfect ergonomics, no hot spots whatsoever. Looks good, feels good, you know, top tier materials. Uh, and I mean, contour titanium, doesn't get much better than that. That is the pinnacle of ergonomics, in my opinion. <clears throat> Centering's perfect. Cutting gets a five out of five. Materials, five out of five. Overall design, perfect five out of five. Value, 4.5 out of five. And that is only because I... I don't think this knife is going to maintain uh, all of its resale value. So uh, with, with a lot of knives, you can buy them brand new and well, not a lot of knives, but there's certain knives that you can buy them new. You can carry them and lightly use them as long as you don't tear them up too much. You will be able to get at least 90% of your money back. Out of it, sometimes you can get the full uh, the full price back out of it, depending on supply and demand. Now, you know, with this being four hundred twenty or four hundred sixty dollar retail price on this one, um, I just I don't think Concept Knives has uh, established. They're, they're just not established enough for many people to justify spending that much money in the first place. Not saying that it's not worth the money or that it's not an amazing quality knife. But, you know, stuff like that takes time to build. You have to build a reputation for excellence. It's a lot more common when it comes to like American USA made knives, like Henders and stuff like that, Chris Reeves, they're gonna hold their value. Uh, even a lot of Spydercos, they're gonna hold their value above what um, pretty much any overseas maker is going to hold with exception to, uh, you know, Koenig, or Koenig is made in the USA, but um, what's that one that's in Canada? The one that looks like the horse, you know what? Oh boy, I'm having a brain fart. But they they make amazing knives. Um, and they're in Canada. Then you have that company. That uh, show Gorov, you know, that's another one. There's there's a lot of foreign companies that their knives hold all their value, but it's more of a supply and demand kind of thing. You know, everybody wants one, and they they're limited production, so that drives the prices at, way up and keeps their their value and their resale value way up. And that's just not something that I see happening with these. But, you know, I could be wrong. But from what I've seen, you know, it's not like there's an insane demand for these. Because, quite honestly, I don't think enough people even really know about these to be going crazy over them yet. Uh, and that will come with time. So if you find a deal on something like this, I would not hesitate to uh, take that person up on their offer because, you know, eventually once word gets out and they are known, um, you know, amongst the entire knife community as an extremely high quality 
Um, excellent knife. You're not going to get those deals anymore. So um, just my thoughts on that. And for Fidget, I gave it a 4 out of 5. Well, originally I gave it a 5 out of 5. And then I switched it to a 4 out of 5. And I'm trying to figure out why. Um, yeah, no. Fidget, Fidget gets a 5 out of 5. comfortable in hand it is satisfying to deploy satisfying to close satisfying to the eyes satisfying to the touch um there's really nothing about this that isn't satisfying besides possibly i don't know if this is just me be, being ocd or not but i'm not crazy about their logo not really sure what they were going for with it um or what it's supposed to mean uh I, it's just it it looks like all right no offense to anybody I, it's a very nice knife but it looks like uh kind of like a lame tribal design that you would get on like a 25 cent temporary tattoo of the quarter machine, you know, that's, that's what it reminds me of, um, not saying that's what it is, but it's just, I, I don't care for it, if you look at this side, where the blade is mostly sterile, I just find that more appealing, for this knife specifically, but I, I don't know, it's just, it reminds me of something you would see on like a gas station knife or something. It just, to me, it, that logo does not look like, uh, it doesn't give off the impression high end knife, you know? So whatever that, that could just be me. You know, I've been known to be ultra picky with certain things, uh, and, and some things, being justified and some things just being me and my OCD and, and just my personal preference, my personal opinion. So, you know, all these reviews, of course, are my personal opinion based off of my experience with a large variety of knives of all types from all kinds of manufacturers all kinds of price ranges, you know, from top to bottom, not too much, um, n not too many gaps that ha are left to be filled as far as, you know, what I've had experience with so far. Um, so I, I try to do these reviews as unbiased as possible, but I still keep it real with you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. And I will always give you guys my straight up, you know, one hundred percent authentic opinion. And that's what you got with this review, and that's what you'll get with all my reviews. So the total came to ninety seven out of one hundred. That is a very high scoring knife, and this is a knife that I would highly, highly recommend. Um, I don't highly recommend spending $460 on it, but if you did, I mean, I could, I, I kind of could justify it. Maybe if you do away with the logo, but um, aside from that, I, I could probably justify it. I mean, this is a very, very nice knife and out of the like, 30 or so knives that Denise has sent to me. Uh, this has to be my favorite. So, um, yeah, for me to go on and on about how good a knife is, uh, it, it takes a very impressive knife to impress me. 
So, um, yeah, props to Concept. This is an amazing knife. And hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm going to do a little bit of boom book paper cutting. I'll start off with this guy. Then I will move on to show you the Wii Synergy and Action. Or actually, I still have this review coming up, so I'll do that in that review video. But I already filmed this one, so this review will be coming up. And I'm going to do the cutting in this video. I think that's going to be it for the boom book paper cutting demonstrations. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a fresh sheet.
last but not least, the Wii Synergy. 